Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I, I do apologize. I didn't hear you walk up. I'm supposed to be at the end of that aisle there. It's not really an aisle. You know, it's at the end of the register with all the snacks and the drinks. I apologize, ma'am. You shouldn't have had to walk up here. Don't be confused. The sign says Express Lane because I, that's what this is. It's kind of technical, so I'll explain what that means so you understand. Now, the Express Lane, as you will see in the smaller font, font is the type. Beneath where it says Express Lane, it says 12 items or less. Now, I, 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 don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I believe you might have more than 12. But look, just between you and me, you're cute, so I, I would love to check you out. And I'll ring up your groceries, too. <laughs> That's a joke. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I do apologize for that. That was a bad joke. I had bad taste. Mother told me to stop making jokes that are, you know, too involved because they go over people's heads. I, I got to learn to tone it down for the general population because people just don't understand sometimes. I, I'm sorry if I have made you uncomfortable. Um, I, I won't explain it. Let's just move on. But anyway, this is where people come. They come to my register um, if they want to get out of here quickly because, you know, I, I know if you're like me, I can't stand it when I go in a store and I need like two things. Like I got a, a toilet brush and an apple and, you know, I got to stand in line behind people with four or five carts full of stuff and I'm sitting there just, you know, I got to go. I got things to do. I'm not buying these things for fun. I need to get back to the house pronto. We got an issue, but you have to stand there and stand there. And it... Sir, I'll be with you in a minute. I'm checking her out right now. So, we got to self-checkout if you want to go. Oh, you don't do self-checkout. Well, aren't you special? Sir, I will get to you eventually. Right now, I am dealing with this lovely lady right here, if you can't see that. I hate rude. Don't you hate rude people? I, 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 what has happened to manners? There's no sense of just common decency and manners anymore in this world. Everybody's just out for themselves. And they got this me first attitude, you know, and they don't care about anybody. They just push and shove and get in the way and, you know, go on the lights green while you're sitting there. All I was doing was writing a letter. I didn't see the light change. Anyway. This is the aisle for people like you because it's clear to me that you are a woman on the move. You you got places to be. You got things to do, and, and I, I fully respect that. I appreciate that. And if you don't mind me asking, what what do you do for a living? So, oh, that sounds, wow, that sounds hard. How long have you been doing that? How do you get into something like that? Do you do like a correspondence course? Do you, is it in the back of like National Geographic like you send in for, you know, send off a postcard for information or? Oh, you, oh, well. Now don't start talking online. I don't know anything about online. And I, I hate to break this to you, but that's just a fad. I mean, that's a passing thing. Nobody does anything online. I mean, all you got online are just perverts and weirdos and mother told me to avoid that and one time she caught me at the post office sending away for some information to do computer uh, technician stuff and analyst or something and then and she yelled at me and she hit me with her pocketbook and another time we went to the library and all I did was look at one of their computers and she threatened to hit me with a chair and then she made me go home I have I have psychological trauma when it comes to the internet. I, I tend to break out in hives a bit, so you don't do a lot on the internet, do you? Because I, I don't mean to be forward, but I'm just saying, if we were to ever go out, I mean, that might be a, a deal breaker on my end. Now, I like to be honest about things with, with the ladies. If there's something that's a problem, I think... Oh... Yes, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. When I'm in the presence of a beautiful lady, it, it tends to happen. I just, I can't help myself. 
<sighs> now look, now we do things different here at Flo's Foods. Are you familiar with our establishment? Well, we believe in contactless checkouts, which means I can check you out, but I can't touch you. Which is, you know, they have the same rule at the strip joint. Not that I go there much. You're not allowed to touch them. You can look, but you can't, you can't feel them like a cantaloupe. <laughs> I, that's not an establishment I would ever frequent. I don't know anything about that. I, I heard about it from a neighbor, a neighbor uh, that somebody else had. Not anybody I know at all. I would never go there. Certainly not as far as anybody knows. Please don't tell my mother. We have con we have contactless checkouts, which means you will place your basket. That is an adorable little arrangement. You put your basket on the belt and you hit the button. Hit the orange button there, okay. And then see what it does, it slides it over here. And it goes through a little, little vapor lock that has some kind of antiseptic stuff in it. And after I check it in, I give it back to you. And it goes back through. You see what I mean? Does that, am I talking too fast? Cause I don't want to confuse you. I don't, I don't, I don't like to confuse ladies. Okay, just, but there you go. Well, you did a fine job of that. I, I commend you. You wouldn't believe the number of people that don't know how to follow directions. I appreciate a woman that can follow directions. I do. That's a that's a lovely thing. Your parents did a good job raising you. Now, do you have your own bags? Or we be providing bags for you today? You do not have bags. Well, that's fine. We've got bags. We don't even charge for them. Now... Spectricide. You, you, you know this stuff gives cancer. It's spectricide. You can't use this. You Oh, it's whilst, whilst and hornets. Whilst is. You want to kill a whilst. You know how you do that. You, you don't, honey. You don't need to do this. You know what mother does. I buy this a lot cheaper, too. You, this stuff right here is about $6. Darling, do you have a can of hairspray at home? Mother said... All you gotta do is take it out there with a lighter and just, you know, you just blow them away. You like send them straight to glory. You just got them on the road to heaven. Just, you know, you spray it and you have a little, like a miniature flamethrower. And so you can just do that. But I don't try that at home. But that's, that's what mother said. And it's cheaper because you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you a can of white rain hairspray and do that. Take care of your waltz. And hornets, same thing. If you got hornets down in the ground, all you got to do is go out there in the middle of the night and you just pour you some kerosene down in that hole, they kill them all. They can't, they can't get out. Did you kill them? You won't see any more. Now, where, where is the problem? Is it up above or down below? I'm talking about bugs, not, you know. Down. What, what, but, well, with all due respect, why are you buying this if you don't have a problem? In anticipation of a problem. Well, I appreciate the fact that you plan ahead, but you know, it says here this stuff kills on contact. You know why? It causes poison. And I'm just afraid that if you tried to use this, you might turn the nozzle the wrong way and it might spray in your pretty face and mess your face up. I, I just, I, I wouldn't feel right selling this to you. I, you know, you seem like a lovely person, and um, how about we just we just set this aside, and uh, and maybe maybe uh, maybe maybe if you just go out there and you yell at them, you know, because I've found in my life that just being around creatures makes them go away. I mean that, you know, I, sir, I believe I told you you can do self checkout. You don't need to stand back there huffing and stomping your feet and looking at your watch. You, you're being dramatic. Are you an actor? You should be because you're real good at it. You, you've portrayed to me that you're frustrated. And you know what I do when I'm driving down the road somebody gets on my bumper? I just slow down. I kind of apply that here to my place of employment. Well, maybe I want to speak to your manager. You ever thought about that? Oh, he's going to look. I hope he doesn't find Miss Alice. She, she, uh, she's not the one that hired me. And 
she just sighs this long, ragged sigh whenever she sees my name on this schedule. She's here today. I hope he doesn't find her. Now, if he finds Mr. Bob, we'll be all right. Mr. Bob's great. Mr. Bob hired me. He knows my mother. See, Mr. Bob's mother and my mother go to bingo sometimes, and then they go out drinking. And so we, we go way back. So Mr. Bob, is, is he's got my back. He won't deal with that man coming in here being ridiculous. Now, I do see you got something good here. You got bananas. You know, these are good for you. But bananas have changed a lot. They don't taste as good as they used to. They used to be real good. Now, I'm old. I'm not like the young, young, young filly like yourself. When I was young, they tasted better. Either that or my taste buds are dying along with the rest of me. Not all of me's dying. Some parts of me are just vibrant as ever. If you were to date me, we could talk more about that. Would you Would you be interested, possibly? Because I... My mask? What? Oh, you're you're familiar with the, the galloping consumption? Yes, ma'am. I, I get that question all the time. All the time. See... I got to think of a way to explain this to make sense. Okay. You know how some people have medical issues... I, I seem to be plagued with more than my fair share of medical issues. And I, I, my mother says it's because I was born early. I came a day before my due date, and she has said ever since that it messed me up. I needed to bake a little bit longer. She took me on, put me under a sun lamp, and then she forgot about me and went out to have a cigarette, and she forgot about me, and I got a little burnt. I think it was that, personally. But, okay, well, it starts this way, ma'am. See, whenever I have to come into contact with items, I get nervous and the textures of some things make me jittery. And that exacerbates my asthma. I have exercise-induced asthma. And then I have my undiagnosed Lyme disease. And when that gets going, if I have a flare-up of that, that, see, exacerbate means it makes things worse. That, in turn, you see, is a chain reaction of unfortunate things. That exacerbates my night blindness, which could be a problem if we were to ever date. Like, say, we went to a late movie. You would have to drive me home. Plus, movie theater popcorn tends to put me in a semi-comatose state. You may have to carry me out. I do keep a wheelbarrow in the back of my El Camino for just such an occasion. So you don't have to carry me because I'm not a big man, but I'm solid and I'm heavier than I look. And I would not want to strain your beautiful, beautiful body. You could put me in the wheelbarrow. Usually the employees help roll me out, just sort of sling me in the back of the El Camino, just take me home. It's really not a big deal. But all of these things together, see, working, working in an environment such as this, this is a fast-paced environment. Yes, ma'am, this is the express lane. Well, it may not look like it is, but it is. I am ringing up items as I speak. Ma'am, we do have self-checkout. Why don't you go avail yourself of those services over yonder? I am very busy right now. I am very busy. I, I don't like dealing with customers like that. People in this store are so rude and impatient. It just drives me crazy. So all of that comes together it like it forms this perfect storm of problems that then causes my night blindness to be worse and then that if I wear a mask it all it all it just doubles everything it makes everything worse it, it just like I can't wear a mask I got a note I got a note that excuses me from wearing wearing masks if you want to sit on my well, no, my mother wrote it, but it's laminated, so you know it's good. 
and she put it through the laminator and she signed it and everything and she she even put her bingo stamper thing on it to make it official so i i, I cannot wear a mask don't worry though because i'm not sick i'm a <laughs> i'm a very healthy man if i do say so myself i've been working out i don't know if you can tell you didn't see me before i've been working out would you Look, now, one thing I don't like about this shirt, it doesn't show off my, my bicep. Would you would you like to touch that to feel? It's bugging out. That's new right there. That just came up this week. Do you want to touch? It, could you just touch me? Just or just one? No. I got it. I'm straining. I'm holding it for you. Do you can you see it? Can, will you t touch my arm? Can you touch my elbow? I got pretty elbows. Well, may, may, maybe after our first date. See, but mother, mother found these uh, tapes at a yard sale. These, these VHS. Are you familiar with it? VHS tapes called "Sweating to the Oldies," and she got me doing them. And you, you jump up and you bounce around, and there's this little man in his shorts and. I love his shorts. I'm looking for some myself. He bounces around in his tank top, and you're and you're sweating to these oldie songs from the '50s, which you probably didn't even know the '50s existed. But there was this time called the '50s a long time ago, it's before I was even born, and they had this music, and they do these dances to these songs, and Mother and I are getting fit together. We do. We stomp and sweat in the living room every day. Whenever I get home from work. And I've started lifting weights. Well, not weights, but I go back to the dairy section and I pump iron by picking up gallons of milk. And I'm starting to really come along with it. How about that? You want to touch that one? This one looks good. I'm just saying, I could be a, I could be a big boyfriend for you. You know, I, I'm going to bulk up. And I'm, I'm going to be looking good by summer. And I you have a boyfriend I think that's highly suspicious no offense but you just now mentioned it and we've been we've been chatting quite a while having a nice little talk the first time you mentioned a boyfriend <laughs> sounds a little made up to me but what whatever you got to do to protect yourself I understand I imagine that you have had some bad experiences with men you know a lot of men out there are awful they're, they're dogs. They just treat women bad. I would never treat you bad. I would be I would be such a good boyfriend for you. And oh, you got somewhere to be. You go into your mother's house. Are you close to your mother? I'm close to my mother. You know, we could be close to our mothers together. We could go out like all four of us, like a double date. That sounds weird. Not that our mothers would be. I don't think double date's the term I meant. We could just go out for lunch. You bring your mother, I'll bring my mother, and we'll see what happens. Maybe they could become friends and they could do things together. Maybe we could all sweat to the oldies. Wouldn't that be fun? Have you ever done that? That Richard Simmons is something I, I really enjoy him. He makes it very fun and, I, and exciting and and I like it. Mother says I need to get a perm like his, but I just, I don't know with my hair being the way it is. I don't know how that would look. I think I'd just look like a clown. It looks good on him, but me, I don't know. Boy, I do understand it's Mother's Day. And, and I, I, yes, man, I, I know, I know it's Mother's Day. Now, for these bananas, you know I have to weigh these because we sell these by the pound. Now, these bananas look like they've been through something. Like they've been through battle or something. I can't give you a discount because, the, look, they're banged up. Um, you know, this one's got a scar on it. The banana's probably bruised. I think you deserve better looking bananas than this. Why would you pick these up? They just look sad. Well, um, I'll weigh them and, I mean, rig them up, but here. Is that a fair price? I don't think it's a fair price. I think that's too much. You know what? I'm going to put these down. I, I, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. You know, you, I, I, if you want, I can get one of the bag boys to run and get you a couple better looking bananas than that. Did you not know that we had better looking bananas over there? Did you, did you look at them at all? I can't have you leaving here with those bananas. They look sad. Dishwashing liquid. You wash your own dishes. Oh, you're one of those really resourceful down-home girls. I appreciate that. You don't even use a dishwasher? Old oh, mother would love to meet you. You should hear her go on tirades about dishwashers and how it's made women lazy. Oh, my goodness. This will be an aphrodisiac right here. That's not the right word. We're not trying to get mama turned on. This would be the ticket to her heart, I'll put it that way. She, If she knew you were a girl that washes her own dishes, oh, she'd be over the moon. She'd be over the moon. I can't tell you how long it's been since I saw a woman as beautiful as you buy this stuff. You know, that probably explains why your hands are so pretty. You have pretty hands. They're not busted and wrinkled or anything. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I don't, I, did, I didn't mean to, I don't think it's a rude question. How is it a rude question? I mean, it's just a fact. I mean, like, like your weight. I could ask you how much you weigh. I mean, all I'm asking is for a factual number. How is that rude? See, that's why I don't understand women. That's just a conundrum to me. It's a, it's a quark, not a quark. That's in the, that's out in space. Quandary. What word am I looking for? Y'all are a mystery, an enigma. You're an enigma. I will never understand women. Some things you can ask them, some things you can't. And every woman's different. Some women don't care, though, just put it out there. Other women, you can't ask them nothing. They get mad at you if you want to know anything about them. My mother's not like that. She volunteers way too much. You don't even have to ask her. She'll tell you about stuff you never wanted to know and show you things that you cannot unsee. I tell you. Well, it's, it, is, it, is, it is a special day, though. You're right about that. Yes, it, it is. It, well, I have to ask you, though. Um, is, oh, yes. Let me, let me ring this up here. You know what? I'm not even going to charge you for this. I, you know what? I'm going to stick it back in the basket, and we're going to pretend like it was rung up, and then we'll get the bag boy to bag it. <laughs> Jeff, I'm getting to it. Jeff is the bag boy. He's saying I need to hurry up. Jeff, you got too much energy. He's just bouncing all over the place. He's like Barney Fife. Just got to get going. I'm working this woman here. I'm not, I'm not working you. I'm, I'm working with her. I'm, I am working with the woman. Yes. So, I, let me ask you this, though. Uh, it is Mother's Day. Is it, is it, uh, is it apropos for me to say Happy Mother's Day to you? Have you procreated? Have you, you know, have you, hmm? Anybody calling you mama? No? Well, well, that's a shame, and I, I don't mean, I don't mean to, uh, get too nosy or anything, but, you know, women have a certain time limit on that sort of thing, like a, you know, a, a sell-by date. I'm just saying, have you thought long-term about that? I think about it every Mother's Day because my mother won't let me think about anything else. She refers to it as, why don't I have grandchildren day? Why am I not a grandma day? I hear about it every year. I didn't mind working late today because... I know as soon as I get home, Carl, you've not made me a grandmother yet. I'm going to die. Never have held a grandchild. I got to hear that every year. I swanee. I very much would like to have children. I think it would be nice to have somebody, you know, do, do chores for me and run errands for me. Take me places. That'd be nice, but at this point, I don't know who I'm going to have to do that. I mean, I don't have anybody to polish my boots or, 
you know, clean up the house. I mean, who's going to do all that for me? As I get older, I, I, who's going who's gonna, to who's gonna run my bath water? Who's going to do my laundry? My mother's not going to live forever. She acts like she is. Who's going to do all that for me when she's gone? These are things that keep me up at night. You know, I'm just putting this out there. It could be something we could help each other with. I mean, you know, you could be a mother, then you could get special things on Mother's Day. I could go to Dollar Tree and pick out some presents for you, get you a card. Uh, I could start shopping ahead. I could go to the flea market and try to find you something good. I bet I could find a teddy bear there. It cut, you know, cut rate prices. They have good deals up there at Cookies Flea Market. I could go up yonder. <sighs> I would go to Bobby's, but it's just junk there now. Cookies got all the good stuff. Of course, Bobby's was closed during the pandemic, and that messed up everything. Bless his heart. So you could get what you want. I'm assuming you want to be a mother. You ain't, you're dodging the question left and right. You won't tell me how old you are. You won't tell me how much you weigh. You won't tell me if you want to be a mother or not. I very much would love to have somebody do for me and, you know, look after me. And I, if I don't have that, I don't, I just don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Well, I'm just saying we could help one another out. See, I would pop my collar, but they don't let me wear collars here. They allowed me to wear my hat after some extended negotiation i told him i needed it it's my it's my emotional support hat i feel exposed if i don't have my head covered if the hump like look a hat so they let me wear it plus a lot of people quit and they'll take anybody they can get yeah they told me that's why they got me in the express lane i thought it was because i was a good employee and i'm fast at pricing items but maybe not but I'm relatively new here. I do plan on working my way up the corporate ladder. It's not a literal ladder, so don't worry. There's nothing I can actually fall off of and hurt myself. So long term, I'm saying I could be a good, stable man for you. I could be a good person for you. I'm going to keep working out. I thought about eating better. And I might go for a run, and so I'm going to be fit and healthy for many years to come. Possibly. But we could take care of one another. You know what I mean? So, yeah, okay. So, uh, it's something to think about. Butter, butter popcorn seasoning. Well, that's interesting. You know, I, I heard that uh, this stuff is unhealthy for you. This has 100 servings per container. Anything that can hold 100 servings, I mean, no bigger than that, has got to be bad for you. You might as well just spray this on your popcorn. I'm going to put this back right now while I'm holding it. Jeff, go put that back. I'm not going to have this beautiful young lady right here poisoned by that mess. That's right. I, I, I'm, I'm speaking for her. Oh, no, ma'am. I know you can speak for yourself. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying sometimes you got to have people look out for you. Now, Jeff, I put it back. Yes, put it back. I've told her how to fix her problem. You know what? You have wasps. You have hornets. You come tell me. I'll take my hat off. I'll go swat at them like my daddy used to do. Take your hat off. Just smack them with your hat. That'll teach them. Well, you know what? You eat a lot of popcorn. Yeah, you don't need this mess right here. You just put real butter on there and grow hair on your chest. Of course, I reckon you want that. That's what my mother used to tell me. You put that back too. That's no good. I will give you this on the house. I'm not ringing this up because so far I believe this is the best thing I have ever seen in a woman's car in my life. I mean, God bless you, lady. You are you are beautiful. You're a hard-working woman, I can tell. Oh, no. Do you have a cat? You know, Mother had this cat. She kind of borrowed it from the neighbor. 
well, she abducted it really. His name was Tripod. Um, but then we found out she was allergic to Tripod, so we had to release Tripod. I'm taking from this that you have a cat or you're on a very strange diet. Well, you must not have much of a cat. You've only got one little packet of this stuff in here. This is not going to feed a cat for long. I don't smell anything, so that's good. I reckon that means it's sealed. So how attached are you to your cat? You've had it for 12 years. How attached are you to your cat? Well, I'm just, I'm, well, I'm just wondering because I'm just saying, you know, things change. Let's say you were to fall in love, just helplessly in love with a man whose mother is allergic to cats. Now, what would you do with that? Because, you know, if y'all ended up getting married, you know, she would have to come live with y'all because it's like a package deal. You get him, you get you get mama too. Until her, her, her dying days and she takes her last breath, surrounded by family and all the children we can have. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you compare having your cat like if you imagine this is a scale right here this is what the motion i'm doing and the happiness of having somebody like me and my mother and all our children that that my mother will be there to help raise and she can give you advice every day can you imagine how beautiful it would be to have her right there to tell you everything how to raise the kids how to do everything you won't have to worry about doing the wrong thing because she'll be there to tell you right away if you're doing it wrong the happiness of all of this compared to a cat that you've already had for 12 years i mean how much longer could it have to, to live anyway i mean think about it it's just something you need to think about remember everything on this side of the scale just forget the cat look at all this you got you got a, a good man. You got a good mother-in-law that will tell you everything you're doing wrong. And she can help you learn to wash dishes right, too, because she's real good at helping people see the error in their ways and the way they wash dishes. Yes, she could teach a class on it. And all, well, I'm thinking, like, we could have four or five kids, you know, if we really concentrated. <laughs> That'd be a lot of... Oh. Just think about it. Something to think about. Something to think about. I'm going to give you this just for now. But just to put a little, you know, a, a little word in your ear about it. Now we got zinc. What do you need zinc for? What kind of deficiency are you experiencing right now that you need 50 milligrams of zinc? I, because, you know, if you're having problems, what, what are you, are you unwell? Are you not a, a virile, healthy young woman? You look like one. You look real healthy. That's, is that a real tan? Or do you, do you fake bake? Or is that a spray tan? What is that? Is that real? It looks real even. Do you play volleyball? I find that women that play beach volleyball have beautiful tans, which is weird because in all the ads for sunblock, they're out there playing volleyball with this dark tan, but they're putting on sunblock, and I'm going, well, the sunblock must not work too well if you got that good of a tan out there with it on. You ought to be whiter than a fish belly if the sunblock worked. Why are you so dark? It's just something that bugs me. It says here, immune system health. Is your immune system messed up? Is it, well, if it is, you need to come over to my house and have mother make you some split pea soup, and I will fix you up good. Now, she can cook. Let me tell you, that's another thing she can help you with. She would love to tell you everything you're doing wrong when you cook. Because I bet when you bake or cook or do anything in the kitchen, I, I bet there's something she could help you. Because, you know, we can all improve. I'm already thinking of all kinds of ways that we can make your life better. My mother and me working together like a tag team. See, we could come in like you're in the wrestling ring and mother and I could be on the ropes and we could just like dive bomb you and make your life instantly better. Like a knockout. It'll be fantastic. I think we need to make this happen. I'm telling you, I'm about ready to take you out to dinner right now. We can just go. Please tell me this is not yours. You, 
Ma'am, you cannot eat canned soup. This stuff is so bad for you. Do you have any idea how much sodium is in this mess and the preservatives? I, I can't let you do it. If if mother knew I allowed you to leave this store with this soup, she wouldn't she'd change locks and not let me back in the house that I live in with her. And her it's well, I live with my mother, but she lives with me in her house. I mean it's, it's I, I I don't live with my mother, see. She she lives with me in her house, but she would not allow me back in. Hey, Jeff, put that back. I don't think you do have better things to do, Jeff. You're just standing there picking at your butt. Put the soup up. Just shove it back on the shelf. What is this? Paprika? Paprika. That's not a thing. Why does it look like that? What do you do with it? You cook. You use this when you cook. Paprika? Why? I've never heard of that. Um, now, I don't believe Mother would be okay with that. Um, no, in my house, we use salt and pepper and butter. Beyond that, we don't believe in spices because you don't know where they've been. You can't know. Take that, too. Oh, now here's a woman after my own heart. You got baina sausages and potted meat. Oh, you eat this with, you take this, take saltine crackers and scoop it out and eat it like, oh, it's so good. It's good stuff right here. They've got it at Hoochie's Dollar Store for for a dollar. There's some questionable stuff in there, but if you don't think about it too hard, it's good stuff. And baina sausages, you got the good ones too. You got armor baina sausages. These are like, what, these are like the caviar of canned meat. Oh. Well, I guess we all hot and bothered seeing a woman that washes her own dishes and knows how to eat right. Oh, I'm giving you that for free. You got it going on, honey. I don't know. You are a hot mom. I don't care if you've reproduced yet or not. You are, mm, you something. I'd stick a dollar in your G-string. We got a packet of napkins. Now, these are the holiday edition right here. These are on clearance. You found these on the clearance aisle. You're a thrifty woman. I appreciate that. I do. I do. Here, let me ring that up. I got to charge you for something. I mean, if you walk out here with no receipt, they're going to wonder what's up. I'm going to give you the cat food. I do have to charge you for this because it'll set off the alarm if I don't. I do have to charge you for that. I think, I think you and me ought to go out in the parking lot and enjoy these right now. I happen to have a pack of crackers in my car. We could, we could scoop them up and eat them together. Are right, you're not saving these for a special occasion, are you? Oh, you gotta go? I, I, I know. Your mother's waiting for you. I, I know how that is, honey. I, let me tell you. Mother's been telling me for a month she wanted a new fuzzy top for her toilet. Do you know how hard it is to find a fuzzy top in this town? Nobody's got them. I, the foot, you know, the foot, like, okay, you get those bathroom sets. Have you seen them? They have them at Dollar Tree, or not at Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. You get the bath mat, you get that mat with the cutout that goes in front of the toilet and then the fuzzy top that goes on the toilet she has a set in this burnt orange color but the fuzzy top got messed up somehow it ended up with burn marks on it i said mother what were you doing in the bathroom she still won't tell me i don't i think she was in there striking matches or something she burnt the fuzzy top now she won't use it anymore she said carl i need another fuzzy top for my toilet I've looked everywhere. There's a fuzzy top shortage in this town. Nowhere in Camden can you find a fuzzy top for a toilet. I've never been so frustrated in my life. So I was going to get her a fuzzy top. I was hoping to surprise her with one. I couldn't even find them at the flea market. I went all the way to Nathanville and couldn't find one. That's serious because I'm not technically allowed to drive that far. That's what the judge said. 
But for my mother, I do it. They didn't even have any in Nathanville. I don't know. They was just been a run on fuzzy tops for some reason. But so I didn't know what to give her for Mother's Day. But this twitchy little man in the parking lot came up to me, little twitchy man, and he he sold me this beautiful necklace for a dollar. Look at this. I think she's gonna love it. Isn't it pretty? It's even got little maple leaves on it. Look. Shiny little maple leaves on this necklace. So I'm, I'm going to give Mother this necklace. Now, just the, I'm just trying to sweeten the deal here, honey. If you and I were a couple, just imagine. You could have stuff like this in your future. You could be with a man that loved you enough to go out and buy this beautiful maple leaf necklace from a man in the parking lot. I spent a whole dollar on it. Yes, but it's so shiny and colorful. I had to get it for it. You see how it really just sets off the neck? Now, I, I do have my own man jewelry here. I got it at the mall. D does this do anything for you? Does it, does it, does it accentuate my, ma my masculine manliness to see my necklace? I try to keep it covered a little so it can just peek out every now and then to an unsuspecting lady to just bowl her over. I'm wearing my Hulk perfect, my Hulk cologne. Is it working? I could flash my bicep again. How about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I better not wear that too much. I might rub the fake gold off. Let me just carefully put it down. I feel lightheaded when I get near that thing. I don't know why. It smells funny. It makes me feel weird. I feel itchy inside. Okay, one more thing. Chunk chicken breast. I hate the word chunk. It's got the word chunk in it. Does that sound appetizing to you? That's disgusting. I ugh with rib meat. Ooh. You can't eat chicken like this, no. Jeff, yes, I want you to put it back. I know the woman thinks she knows what she wants, but she needs a little guidance. That's all I'm saying. Listen, anytime you want some chicken, you let me know. I'll come over and I'll boil you up some chicken breast. It'll be 10 times better than that mess because I am, I am a pro at boiling chicken breast. I do it all the time for mother. She, she does this thing. She feeds it to her pet turtle, which I don't think is healthy for it. She feeds it to the turtle and she makes chicken salad with the rest of it. So you, you can't eat that. That's just, a, that's unnatural. That's unnatural. The, the only unnatural things that I'm really okay with are just right here. Because these are like nectar of the gods because it's so good. That's all right. Now, Jeff's going to bag this stuff. I don't have to do that. I already ran. Well, here's your total. Sorry, I forgot. You do have to pay. Can you pay? I would, but all I've got is a 20 to get me through the rest of the week. Here. Here, Jeff. The lady will be taking that today, and then he'll, he'll bag it and run it through for you. Just uh, put, you, put, you have to put your card in the thing. Enter your pen and then hit that green button. Wow. It has been such an honor to meet you today. Are you going to be a regular here? Because I really hope so. I'll be looking for you. What do you drive? What kind of car do you drive? What's your license number? Where do you live? What's your address? Am I running too many questions at you at once? Do I need to slow down? I don't want to get you, you know, turned around or anything. Because I really want to see you again. And, you know, our shirt right here. See? Honey, we're local. We live nearby. I live nearby. I might live real nearby you if you just tell me where you live. And then I'll know where you live. And I'll know where you sleep. I'll know where you are when you're relaxing. Maybe I'll just come walk by one day and 
say you while you're out there watering the plants or something. It'd be real cool. There you go again, talking about that boyfriend. Well, you just stick with that story. I know, I, you know, I find that most women when they meet me are kind of, it's too much. It's too much all at once. I'm overwhelming. I, I, it's a curse. I overwhelm women at first. It takes them a little bit to absorb it all. They need to go home and kind of process the experience of meeting me. My name is Carl, by the way. I don't have a name tag yet. I haven't been here long enough. You go home and process all your feelings. I'll be here tonight till 6. If you want to come back by when you're ready, you know, when you finally had time to get used to everything. Well, you come on back and then we'll talk some more, okay? Yeah, yeah, your boyfriend, I'm sure. Yeah, why don't you bring him by and I'll see if he exists. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he does, I'm sure. Yep, that's what they all say. Well, all right, ma'am, I'll let you tell your mother that Carl said Happy Mother's Day. Okay, I, I actually have a picture of me. I have a little Polaroid if you want to take it and show her. I got it in my pocket. Maybe next, you're right, maybe next time. You need time to, to, you need time to accept the experience that you've had here today. I get it, I get it. Yes, ma'am, I'll be ready for you in a minute. I ring up these other people. I don't know, at least I get in a couple of people today. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you have a good day. Your groceries are down there. And again, I hope you have a very happy Mother's Day with your mama. <laughs>